Hello YouTube, it is Everything you Pan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 8 Build 7997 in VMware. Now this is a part of the Milestone 3 series of Windows 8, and this was a requested video by uh, one of my viewers in the comments uh, by the username of weird with underscore at the end of it there, so shout out to you with the video idea here. Um, and also in this what we'll do is we'll be uh, getting VMware tools installed, and then also we will be using Redlock to enable um, some hidden features that are in this uh, version of the Windows 8 beta operating system here. Um, and if you don't know what Redlock is, is it basically is a tool um, that someone had created to um, be able to enable these hidden features um, on here. So uh, all of that will be in the uh, description here. We'll kind of go into that here we'll get started with uh everything that you will need here um vmware will be in the description of course uh you can download uh, the pro and player um of vmware workstation are both here for you if you want to uh, get that downloaded if you don't have it already or you know pick whichever version you want um and then also in the description will be the iso um for that beta version of windows 8 there's a whole um list here that you'll have um, this is a ar on archive.org but it's uploaded by windows base so shout out for the iso here and you can see there's other versions here too if you'd like to test out any others um, they uh, do come in a zip file here so um, you won't need any program like winrar or 7-zip or anything like that to get it out of the uh, zip file but it will come in there you can see here's 7997 so you download it and this is a 64-bit uh, version as well so just to make you aware of that um and then also what will be in the description i'll have a link for the version of uh we'll need an older version of vmware tools i believe that it's version 10.2.5 that we're using in this um to install because the latest version does not work um, for this and then also there will be a link uh to this beta wiki page for redlock uh, it'll give you a description of um or some information about what redlock is and then uh, the download link is right here on the right side um, to get the red lock. Um, so it will come in a seven zip file. So um, I will have uh, that in the description here. You will need WinRAR or seven zip to open it. Um, so make sure you do have that as well um, to be able to extract the executable file out of it. So, um, and when it downloads, it may detect it as like a, you know, suspicious file or something like that. Um, you'll just want to make sure to bypass that out of, you know, if it's Windows Defender or um, whatever antivirus software you use. So that will also be there. And then uh, I will also be including for, I believe, the first time ever, I will be including product keys in the description of this video. Um, I've avoided doing that previously just to avoid any issues, but um, there are multiple versions of this that you can choose from there, but you have to, you know, use the specified product key you want. If you want to do like home premium or professional or home basic or ultimate, I think are the options. And then there's also one for like a, um, a, Pre there's like a pre-release key here too so i'll include that too i'm not sure you know the specifics of that version but um all of those will be in uh the description as well um so that is one of the first times i've done it hopefully it won't cause any issues with doing that and if it does then i may not be able to include them in the future but you know it's a beta build there's no reason we shouldn't be able to use these keys um since it is considered abandonware um so that is everything you'll need in the description. You've got uh, all the files and programs, everything you need uh, for this. So we'll go ahead and get into VMware here, and then we're gonna create a new virtual machine. And this time we're actually gonna do the custom. I know usually I do typical, but there's a few things that we'll need to change um, that we can just do in the custom setup to save a little bit of time. So uh, go ahead and do custom and hit next. And this is the big thing here. We want to change the uh, virtual machine hardware compatibility here. So we go into the list and go ahead and select Workstation 9X. That's the one I've used for a lot of the betas I've been testing. Um, since if we leave it on a newer version of Workstation, like 16 or 15, um, it errors out 
uh, when you boot it up on the first time and try to load the ISO, it'll give you an error a message on it. So make sure it's at Windows 9X for the, uh, or not Windows, at Workstation 9X for the hardware compatibility, and then hit Next. Uh, go ahead and just select, I will install the operating system later. Um, and then for the version, since it's 64-bit, just make sure it's on Windows 8X, X64, and then hit Next. And then you can name the machine whatever you wish. I'm just going to call mine Windows 8 Build 7997. And then hit next. And then for firmware type, just leave it on BIOS, hit next. You can leave all these at one. Um, I'm just gonna put two here. Sometimes I like to have a dual core dedicated. And then two gig RAM should be fine. This is for the memory page. Um, I'm gonna up it to four though, just to let things go a little smoother here, but two should be okay um, if you wanna leave it at that. Um, leave the network type at NAT and hit next and then leave this on the recommended next. SCSI, leave it on that as well. Um, it won't support SATA or NVMe because it's on a uh, version, so just hit next. We're gonna create a new virtual hard disk. I'm gonna store it as a single file and you don't need 60 gigs, I promise you that, unless you're planning on storing stuff on it or something. 20 or 25 gigs should be fine. Um, for this, I'm just gonna do 25 and then go ahead and hit next. Um, hit next again, it'll just have the default name unless you want to rename it. And then the last thing we'll want to do is go into customize hardware. And then we'll want to insert the ISO image. So go to the CD DVD, go to use ISO image file and browse for the ISO. Um, mine is in here. And again, to confirm it's 64 bit, there is X64 in the file name as well and open that up and it'll be inserted into there. So just hit close and then everything should be in here and confirmed that we'll need. So just hit finish and it will go ahead and create the virtual machine. And you can confirm that it's on a older workstation version because it has this upgrade virtual machine uh, tab here versus if I were to go to like my Windows 11 machine, for example, there's not that tab there because it's using the latest version. Um, the hardware compatibility is using the latest one. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll power on the virtual machine here. And, uh, I've also learned with this build that I've done, you know, the testing and everything with, you do not, uh, need to change the bio state. It's work. It works just fine without changing the dates, um, in VMware. Not sure about VirtualBox, but for VMware, you do not need to change the date. So it'll come up with the Windows 7 screen um, setup prompt here. You can see it's pretty much the same other than the fact that the copyright year has changed to 2011 versus 2009 uh, when Windows 7 came out. So just make sure all these settings are as needed with your language, uh, time, and your keyboard method. Um, and then hit next and then install now. And it'll give us the setup as starting prompt here. And then it will come up with the product key box here. So We'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna type in, this is gonna be the ultimate edition uh, product key again. Uh, these will be in the description um, for whichever version you wish to um, use there. So once that is entered in, just hit next and it should proceed to the next window here. Uh, to the license terms, so go ahead and accept those and hit next, and then we'll want to do the custom, and it'll have our drive selected, should be the only one in here, and whatever space you have it set to, and hit next, and it will go ahead and begin the installation process. So um, this part will take some time um, going through the list here. The expanding part will take a bit, so just kind of let it do its thing here, um, and then it'll eventually get us to our first restart point. Now, one thing to note, um, this has experienced a problem here where going through the setup when you get to restart points or where you're needing to reboot the machine uh, doesn't do it by itself. You do have to manually do it. So I'll just uh, give a reminder of that once the restart point comes up. But uh, again, just let it sit through and uh, continue through the installation. And um, I'll be back with you guys once we uh, hit our first restart point. All right, so we've hit our first restart point there. I did just miss the uh, prompt where it gave us the countdown. Uh, for rebooting but as you can see it will be stuck at this point um, so you will need to do a manual reset by going in and doing reset here and it'll go ahead and reset the machine and then boot back up and get us back into the setup so um, it'll say updating registry settings 
And then it'll set up as starting services and prompt us up into the install windows uh, prompt here again. So it'll do the uh, completing installation step here. You'll see the bar at the bottom uh, start to progress um, after being in it for a little bit. Um, as you can see the jump, uh, a couple jumps there. And then it will prompt us to do another uh, reboot here. So it'll say uh, setup will continue after restarting your computer. Again, it won't do it automatically. You'll need to go up and do a reset. So it'll reboot the machine and boot us back up. It'll have us uh, come up with the setup as preparing your computer for first use, and then it will come up with the setup windows prompt here. Um, so it's going to ask for a PC name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine um, Windows 8 7997, just to indicate the build number, and hit next. Um, you can select home network. Doesn't really matter which one of these you select anyways. And then this is where it's going to have us create the user account. So just type in any username there you want, and then you can add a password, but you do not have to. And then just hit next. Um, if you have one in there or not, uh, just do recommended settings here. And then this is where it's going to have you also change your time zone if you want to, and then hit next. And it'll go ahead and finalize that up here and it'll log us into our um, account and audio should be working here as well. So we'll hear the sounds coming up here in just a moment. So it gave us the log on sound there. It didn't play the startup sound there, which is fine, but um, audio does work, um, and you can see everything loads up just fine. You've got everything in here, and it looks like, um, you know, you can test out some of the new features here, obviously, that you can see, too. But um, that is uh, one of the main parts here. We've got the operating system installed. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is install VMware Tools. Uh, that is going to be, uh, again, that ISO link uh, will be in the description. Uh, if you go ahead and click that down there, it'll... Uh, prompt the download there. So um, you want to get that inserted going into the VM tab, uh, removable devices, and go to the CD DVD into the settings there, and then browse for the ISO, wherever you have that saved. Should be called something along the lines of this. Make sure that's inserted. And then it should, I think, prompt us up. Yep, there we go. It'll prompt us up to install it. So just hit yes after hitting run. And it will go ahead and open up VMware tools here. Get us open to the setup wizard. And on this, just go ahead and hit next. And then of course, I usually just do the complete installation. It just installs everything, might as well. Uh, and then hit next and install. And it will go forth with installing VMware tools. And when it's installing everything, especially the video driver here, you'll see that it will go ahead and uh, get it full screened here for us. That will also be an automatic process there. So that is completed. So just hit finish and then hit yes to reboot. And it will get stuck here again too. Like I said, it happens with each stage, you know what we're doing reboots and things. So you'll just want to go ahead and do a reset of the machine. And then it should boot us back up here. And you'll hear the audio work there as well. So, um, and you'll see that it's still in that full screen here. So, um, and then when you're moving your machine around, you can see that the video does get automatically resized, which is good to see. Um, if it doesn't, you can go into view and hit fit guess now, and it should fit like this. Um, so now we do have VMware tools installed, which helps with the uh, graphics and the video there. Um, the last thing we're going to need to do is um, go ahead and get Redlock on here. Um, now the download link, again, that's in the description. Uh, it's a 7-zip file, but the executable that's in there, the .exe, will be inside there. You want to extract that and make sure that is saved into a directory that you can access on here. And the way to access that in your machine is if you go into the um, VM tab here, go into settings, 
And if you go to the options tab and go to shared folders, um, you can enable shared folders by typing or by hitting always enabled. Um, and then we're going to add a path. Um, we're going to add a shared folder here. So just hit next and then go ahead and browse for the folder. Um, I'm just doing my entire operating systems folder here, but as long as you go to the folder, wherever that file is located, um, if it's in there, that's all you really need. So, um, and then just hit next and then make sure it's enabled, hit finish and hit okay. And then to access that, you'll just need to go into the file explorer and go to the network tab and there should be a VMware host computer. Um, I'll just also turn on network discovery because why not? So if you go into VMware host, go to shared folders, and then it'll bring up the folder you put in here. Um, for me, I put in the operating systems. And so you just want to go to wherever the Redlock application or executable is. And here it is right here. So then double click on that and a security warning will come up. Just have it run and then hit yes on the user account control prompt. And we can go ahead and close out of the Explorer window now. Um, and then to get it installed, um, you'll just need to be in the command prompt window that pops up. Just type one, hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and uh, prompt to reboot again it's going to get stuck so you'll want to do another machine reset so just go to power and then reset okay and on the reboot here it'll reboot back up into the um, on the welcome page and then it will say that setup is preparing your computer for first use it'll prompt up with that command prompt there for a little bit on the left side and you'll know that it's good there once it's uh, done that so um, go ahead and do another reset of the machine And then it's gonna go ahead and if it's done it correctly, there we go. And you can see that uh, it's got a new background here on the logon page and on the uh, start screen, which is enabled now um, that you've seen in Windows 8. Now, uh, if it doesn't come up with this automatically, just do a log off and log back on and then the uh, icons here should popped up. Um, so we can go back to desktop and if we hit the start button, it'll take us now to the tile menu here um, for the startup. And then you know, the picture still here in the bottom. And then if you go into Windows Explorer, this looks different as well. Um, so it's got all of the new and enabled features in here, as you can see um, for the interface. So, um, and you can also go to the new control panel um, as well. Um, which you can change some of the other features and things in here, or you can just go to desktop. So um, with that being said, that is uh, all that there is to it. And uh, that is a complete tutorial on how to install Windows 8 build 7997 in VMware. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video or found this video helpful at all, you can certainly leave a like down below. Um, and if you have any ideas for future videos or anything you want to leave in the comments, you can leave a comment down below. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the post notification bell to be uh, notified when I upload videos, um, or posts or anything, and be up to date on my content. Um, once again, this is the video tutorial on how to install Windows 8 Build 7997 in VMware. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.